So I have 10 questions here. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Mamtas, uh, I believe that you are the way now to like to clear things in my mind about sure. uh, questions on Christianity and Islams as well. Inshallah. Uh, so now I have 10 questions. <coughs> then I hope that these things will be clear. Number one, about prophets. Okay. okay. Both texts uh, revere prophets like Abraham. Uh, we spoke this before, Moses or even Jesus. But do they depict their stories on roles in the same way in Quran? Okay. You see, we have stories of prophets, mm -hmm. all the prophets in the Bible, like minor and major. But we have some correction too. Uh, yeah. Like for example, if we read from Bible, it says that... Ah, you've seen it? Not yet. Mm. For example, in the Bible, we have... Just one second. Yeah. In the Bible, we have some prophets who appears to be doing something mm. illicit, like yeah. Lot, Prophet Lot is committing uh, uh, something, fornication with his own oh. daughters. We said that this is not true image of prophets, but we believe in Lot, Lut. Yes. But by Quran says that not at all. All prophets were sinless. They were the representatives of God and they cannot do such illicit acts. Mm -hmm. So we believe the Quran came and gave the true representation mm -hmm. of the misconceptions of Bible. But we don't reject them. We believe them in the right order. Yeah, so that means there is confusion between the... Yes, we believe there is something false hands mm -hmm. written in the Bible because they are no authors, we cannot authenticate them, who wrote it. We don't have biographies of historians who wrote these books, for example, Kings, Book of Kings, mm -hmm. Book of uh, uh, Chronicles, unknown authors. So we said that there is a problem. Where, who endorsed them? Who, in, who signed them? Who penned them? So we need a person who penned them, so we don't have it. So Quran says we believe those prophets, mm -hmm. but in this way. Yes. And that is that they were righteous, and none of them committed uh, the acts which mentioned in the Bible. You cannot even yeah. repeat that. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Thank you. Uh, about Jesus, we spoke this before. Yes. Is Jesus viewed as divine or a prophet in both texts, Bible and uh, Quran? How do their accounts in his life and mission differ in Quran and uh, Bible? We believe that Jesus Christ is one of the mightiest messengers of God. Mm. He was born without any male intervention, no male, yeah. okay, yeah, miraculous birth. And we believe that he's going to come back. He didn't die on the cross. Yeah. God took him up alive and is coming back again. We differ from Christianity, which Christians do not have answers that did he really die on the cross? There's no clear evidence from the Bible. There's confusion. Four testaments did do not match. If you start analyzing Matthew, Mark, yes. Luke and John. What really happened in the cross? Somebody writes something else. So we believe in Islam that he was not killed at all, not even a bruise on him. Yeah. God took him up alive. He will come back in the second coming and he will kill the Antichrist. The Antichrist, which we believe is coming. He didn't die on the cross. No, we don't believe in any... Punished by Pontius Pilate and everything. Why? Go, why uh, no logic. No logic. Oh. Because he was the messenger and God protected him. <laughs> Look, he is the messenger. God protected him. If you want to put a Christ Christianity, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. As you already discussed, yeah. why God picked his own son, <laughs> why he has to come down <laughs> yes. and then he has to sacrifice his own to self, himself to, to, to make a complacency on his own mind yeah. and to forgive. Doesn't make sense. So we and then we also believe that he is the uh, mightiest messenger mm -hmm. of God, one of the mightiest. He is not God. He is not divine. Yeah. He is the true messenger of God, like many other prophets and messengers passed away. Oh, clear right. picture of Jesus yeah, yeah, yeah. and mother, her mother, his, sorry, his mother, one of the righteous women of all the yeah. time. We believe it. So it so happened that uh, the name of uh, Jesus' mother is Mary, also in Quran. Maryam. Yes, we call him Maryam. Maryam. Mary is not her name. Mary is our angelicized or Latinized names. The Western yeah. put it. The real name is Maryam. It's, so it's, a, it's like a Jewish name. Kind of change into. Yeah, when they when they translated, they changed these things. Yes. All right. Thank you. Welcome. 
uh, about the the scriptures of the Bible and Quran. <coughs> Does the Quran view the view the Bible as divinely revealed scripture? Or does the Bible mention the Quran? Because first of all, first of all, we believe that the Bible can be a word of God, but we have to see through Quranic glasses. Mm. If it if it goes with Quran, it is true. For example, in the Bible it says that God created heavens and the earth in six days, and on the seventh day He rested. Mm. Quran says the same: that God created heavens and the earth in six days, but on the seventh day He feel no fatigue. Same thing. Mm. But correction is there now. No fatigue. No fatigue. How, how can God be rested? And uh, why is it that the Bible said that uh, on the seventh day, God rested? This is, you need to ask the pastors. <laughs> what does it mean God rested? God doesn't need any rest to create anything. So we believe that Quran confirms what is in the Bible, which is true, mm -hmm. and then protects it. So whatever the Quran, whatever the Bible did go wrong, Quran corrected it. Oh. If we don't reject it, Bible, there is verses of God in the Bible because we do not believe that Bible is totally changed. We believe that there is fabrications entered, yeah. entered, like few of things change, few and alteration not. as well. Alteration, I call yeah. it, adulteration. Mm -hmm. So these things happen, but not totally. The Bible is raw; it's not the word of God. We never claim that. Yeah. No, we believe it, but we have to see, sift it through yeah. Quran. So Quran is your glasses, you have to three, see through that. Yeah. That's what we believe. That's why we believe all the prophets, minor, major, up to Jesus and Prophet Muhammad. Oh, so clear, so clear, Mr. Ramtas. Like, then after life, this is the, like most of us were aiming for, you know, we'll go to heaven after life like this, live with God. Absolutely, Islam is very clear, you know, 75%. Quran speaks about life after death. Yeah, there is no other life book speak death. like that. You know that. There's also hell and heaven. Yes, of course. Quran. And it's very simple. The way that Jesus said it, he said it. Follow, keep the commandments, be righteous. But there's no purgatory. Sorry. Purgatory. No, we don't have. A, it's uh, in between no. heaven and earth. I know uh, that, heaven and hell. That you are suspended between heaven. No. Yeah, there's no such thing as no, suspension. This is church creation. Ah. Limbo, limbo. The hell for children. Roman Catholics believe. Then this project, purgatory, where you, they will clean you, cleanse you, then you will go to heaven. No, we believe either you are entitled to hell or entitled to paradise. Mm. But we have also believed the concept of torment in the grave, mm. if punishment in the grave, if you are a bad person. But if you believe in one God and believe all the prophets, you will go to Jannah. Clear? Yeah. There is no doubt about that. And this is what Jesus also said, keep the commandments if you want to have eternal life. In Matthew chapter 16, he said it very clearly. Yeah. Keep the commandments. What are commandments? Ten commandments, remember? Mm, so do this, don't do that. You are entered in the pleasure of God. That's it. Yeah, just follow the commandments. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, the concepts like heaven, hell, and uh, judgment. Because uh, according to Christians, the, the dead will come to life for judgment. Is that also the same with Absolutely. Quran? Absolutely. Day of Resurrection, Quran yeah. says it very emphatically. So all the dead people will come to life? Yeah, everybody will be risen and they will be accountable for their deeds. But the Day of Judgment, yes. all of us, we don't know when is the exactly. judgment. Exactly. We don't know. Prophet didn't know. Even Jesus didn't know. He said in the Bible of that day, no, no man. Mr. Mamtas, if we're going to heaven, Inshallah. do we know the people the family, our own family, just in case they're he in heaven too. Absolutely, yeah. We will recognize them. Of course. We will be there together a, with them. Yes, there is a hadith prophet says that people of Jannah will be together. Even they know that who is in hell and they will uh, look them down that if you were doing something, had it been for you, for doing things good in your life, you would be with us. Mm -hmm. So, of course, they will be aware of what's happening. All right. You will meet your family in Jannah. Prophet says, when, you, when the angel of death will come, the people of your family greets you. Because, uh, you know, Mr. Ramtas, according to what I've heard from different people, like when we die and we go to heaven, we will not recognize the ones no. we love. In Islam, not at all in Islam. After death, you know that is your mother. And in oh, Jannah, okay. in Islam, in Jannah, you all will be same age. Oh, yeah, that's my follow-up question. The age of Jesus. Yeah, like example, when we die old, 
same like age. 80, Even the baby, 83 years old? Yes, the baby dies, he will be 33 years old. Okay. So, just like this now? No age, no decaying of your cells. You will be mm -hmm. always young in Jannah. Uh -huh. An eternal abide. So your father abode. looks like the same, your age? 30 years, yes. Oh, that's nice to hear. This so, now it's very clear in my mind now. Thank you. Because according to them, well, you will not recognize your family members. How come? Does that make ones. sense? How come? Of yeah, course you will recognize. That's what I've heard from people who are like claiming themselves like they are like know-it-all people about no. life after death. But now, it's so clear. And also the thing clear, was clear in my mind now is like you told me that when we die, even if old or young or whatever age you, doesn't you died, it doesn't matter. You will be on uh, the age that Yes, in Jannah, you will be all like that. Same. Yeah, the age that you look like. Yes. And the life like, of Jannah, paradise, you cannot even imagine. Um, Allah says in the Quran, that is beyond your imagination. It's so beautiful. A human mm -hmm. mind cannot get the picture of that. Yes. Now about uh, Ramadan. Your, yes. Yeah, because Christians also have what we call this uh, Quaresma. Have you heard the word Quaresma? It's a lot uh, Spanish. Like there's fasting, mm -hmm. but you're not only allowed to eat meat. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to eat vegetables, like fish. Kind of a partial fasting, like you like that with some conditions. But unlike Islam, you have to fast for thirty days yes. straight. Yes. Now, does it? Uh, uh, does the Quran also believe that uh, Quaresma? Uh, Quran also believes Quaresma or? In, in, only for a day or a no. week or what we have five pillars of islam okay mm. and amongst them there is one we call ramadan fasting mm. you fast you don't drink you don't eat you don't sleep with your wife as long as the sun's rising yes from the dawn till to dusk mm. so you fast and this is totally for god and what is the need god doesn't need your fasting mm. it is the piety goes there mm. as same that god says you do, when you sacrifice the blood doesn't reach to me yes neither your flesh this is your taqwa your righteousness reaches to me yes and i judge you by your heart it's not the so physical. fasting is the 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 commitment we owe to god by feeling how the poor is empathy how mm. the poor sleeps without food so it's like to give a, a constraint on your body Mm. to show that how much you are committed. Like for example, if I'm a general in army, I said, okay, Lyndon, you think you, you are very honest to me, jump over that you know, mm. block. If you jump, it means you are really a faithful person. Yes. That is a testing from us. Yeah. God is not hungry. Of course. God is not hungry. Yeah. Pro prophet says, there are, there are so many angels between my finger mm. that they are worshiping God. He doesn't need you and me. It is the test that he's yeah. saying how much we are Sub service, you know, serving him or submissive to him. It's That's your it. faith. It's a faith. So it's yeah. a test of faith once in a year that do we really love Allah, our creator, our cherisher? Mm -hmm. That's all. It's good because in Christian Same Jesus taught it. Uh, you fast for God, not for Jesus. Nobody fast for Jesus. Yeah. They fasted for God Almighty, Elohim, Jehovah. <laughs> in the yes. Bible. Jesus was walking there. Jews were fasting. So they were fasting for Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> See? Uh, Simple. Can't be. No. Okay, about uh, about God now, mm -hmm. Allah. Now, there's also like wrath, right? Mercy. Allah has mercy as well. Yes. And Allah has also like punishment. Yes. So is it the same like Christians? In uh, Islam, we, Islam, we believe that God is very oft forgiving. Unless you commit a sin which is shirk. Shirk means associate partners with God. Mm. That somebody says, no, God is God, but He's also God. Yeah. You get great partners. This sin will not be forgiven if the angel of death will come and you do not revert. You die in that state. You will never be forgiven. Beside that, every sin is forgivable. You, yeah. If you are sincere with your honesty, accept the Repent. sins which you indulge with other fellow. Mm. Like you rob your sister's house, mm. not be forgiven because you broke the social law. Yes. But between you and God, 
you can be forgiven. Forgiven, but not with other men. You have to ask her forgiveness. Yeah, in the eyes of people, you are not no. forgiven. You have to pay the to price. The yeah, pay the price. But for in front of God, and simple in Islam, just seek forgiveness from Allah. Allah is so Rahim and Rahman, the most merciful. The way they start Bismillah, Rahman, mm -hmm. Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Every time you say that, yeah, He is most merciful. But He sees the prodigal son. Mm. Are you coming back with honesty? Jesus said, if the if the guy says repented, then God accepted him. Mm. If you lost, you come back. Haras. This is Islam. Exactly. This is Jesus said. So it. do you need some sacrifices before? Not at all. No sacrifice. No. Before for you will be Nothing. forgiven. No. No. As long as you repent, you ask you re forgiveness from yes. Allah. Yes. And then you will be forgiven. You will be forgiven. That's it. Not on the basis of other persons if involvement like if your other persons are involved in your sin no for example you as i give your example you stole someone's car yeah you, you robbed someone's money then allah will not forgive you he will forgive you the one who robbed him yeah and it is his choice but from the uh, god's point of view you are forgiven hmm. yes because you ask forgiveness yes, forgiveness oh allah i have committed sin please forgive me which I sinned, I did it hiddenly, forgive me, Allah will forgive you. But not the sins if you hurt your brother, brother or sister or your friends. Yeah, is it also true that uh, when a Muslim asks for something or like this, he can fast? He will fast to get the things that he wanted? Look, we call this the kind of piety or taqwa. taqwa. Look, you can pray five times a day, but you can also have some additional prayers. Hmm. Just for taqwa, how righteous you are with Allah. It's up to you. Ah. The more you remember of Allah, hmm. because Allah says in the Quran, indeed people find tranquility or peace in their hearts by the remembrance of Allah. The more you remember of your God, the more you feel good. Ah, I thought that... Uh, so this is up to you. It's a personal thing. A personal thing. Yeah. Oh, so, so clear now, Mr. Ramtas, and uh, thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Uh,